A brief introduction to Aaron Rothschild. Now, who is Aaron Rothschild? Well, she's not really a Rothschild, but at least her name is Erin. Her real family history is completely unremarkable. She has nothing to her actual family, which even suggests that she's connected to some kind of power elite. She has nothing going on over there. A husband that she left, a partner that she's now with, various other family members including kids. But apart from that, there is nothing of any great note. She has no career, no solid income, nothing as such. She calls herself Eve now though, and she doesn't claim to be a half reptilian from another uh, universe, from a parallel reality as she used to. Instead she claims that that particular person, Erin, has ascended. And now she is Eve, the true spirit of woman. Hmm, interesting. And she calls herself Eve Green, and she has a mixed relationship with her relations of various levels, her children, her ex-husband or well, separated partner, whatever their status may be, and various other people who've helped them out over time. Erin and her partner basically sponge money off people, and they've befriended a great many people over the course of the last couple of years. They've set up GoFundMes to move to other parts of the world, and they do not follow through. I've got the money, or at least part of it. Shall I put it towards a plane ticket or uh, renewing my passport? Bunny says you're good for it. Where's the fucking money, shithead? Because that works for people, you know. You simply live out of a motel or a hotel or some kind of other arrangement of a similar kind and you basically claim that it's all perfectly above board. Oh yes, uh, people are supporting us. We didn't have enough money this time, but we'll work on it. Your money has not been wasted. Your time has not been wasted. We will follow through, and then nothing is said about it. Show me the money! They basically leave things and do not fully answer the questions. Well, you know what? That's their choice. They have the right to make up any number of stories as they wish, and if you are gullible enough, if you're credulous enough to basically fall for their spiel, then of course you have the right to give. However, many people who've given donations, or to be more precise and more importantly, uh, loans, have been alienated by them after they've given the money, and so no money will be returned. People have lost hundreds of US dollars in the process. And more fool you. However, I can understand why you would be bitter about this particular predicament, because after all, who would not be if you have in fact been effectively conned by these people who draw you in, make you friends, and then basically say, well, we need to borrow a bit of money because we're expecting some through, but it's been delayed and we need to prevent ourselves from being kicked out of our lodgings. And so, yeah, send some money and that will ensure that we aren't thrown out into the street. They exaggerate. They claim they don't have enough money for toilet paper, which I doubt. In any case, they're basically people who keep on begging. They file a false copyright claim on material which um, is barely theirs. You know, you put information on a public site, you put a video on a public site like YouTube. The video is owned by YouTube, the intellectual property um, clause or area within copyright law, um, such as the DMCA, the Digital uh, Millennium Copyright Act, 
basically allows certain intellectual value. However, responding to it is protected, so many people just go, I shall respond, and they give their own personal details, and then um, they get their video back. And then they can just file another DMCA. But with the information you give, the information that is your own personal information, you basically end up with um, that information being spread on Facebook and other websites quite openly. Quite openly indeed. Whether it's uh, telephone numbers, your actual address, your home address that is, or business address. And once they have certain details to do with you, um, say for example your main email actually have... Um, the thing in place because there's or security protocols on quite a few social media sites where you can say I do not wish to be tracked with this email and that's an option on Facebook I'm not sure about Tumblr and others but in any case a person can type in your own personal email and they can find you and where you are even if you're under a different name if you use your main email to defend yourself uh, from potential legal uh, comeuppance or uh, <laughs> some kind of problem there then of course they would be able to find you however it is very problematic in fact it's actually a an offense if a person has their own private identity and then you abuse that position find out information about them then spread that information on the internet and several people have contacted me personal close uh, friends and those people who've been um, effectively um, I don't know, dock dropped and uh, insulted, uh, false DMCA's. There are many of them out there who basically approach them as critics and say, well, what are you doing? Come on, this is a bit silly, isn't it? And they end up with their personal information being dropped all over the internet. If a lot of people loved each other, the world would be a better place to live. When you make a remarkable series of claims and use every trick in the book to try and draw people in, and you're basically scraping the barrel of the conspiracy theorist world, of course, there is a great amount of suspicion about how serious your supposed beliefs actually are. Of course! However, some of those people who've given money, who perhaps were a little bit beyond reason and they got burned, maybe you should think twice. And this is what it's about. It's about awareness in the end. People should be aware that these people are making money off people's credulity. I don't think she should be banned. I do not think that should be the case. I do not think that she should be, I don't know, lose her PayPal, for example. I don't think that the IRS would need to come into it because they're not earning enough, are they? So I don't think we're really talking about taxable uh, donations. Uh, when it comes down to uh, any benefits they're receiving, that might be a different issue if they're uh, receiving food stamps, but then receiving a steady income of donations and support. And the new part of the product, or uh, the business, because that's what it is, I suppose, effectively, is where you can uh, pay for the privilege of having a telephone call with Eve. Or you can have an online discussion. Bring it on. So I really wouldn't worry about it too much. It is a small operation. They're basically using drama methods. Uh, you know, drama alerts. Where's Keemstar when you don't need him? Um, yeah, they're basically using drama methods, and really there's no re reason to really engage with that. Uh, their claims about people being the same person, about their critics all being this person, that's all that person, or that person's actually the brother of. It is all about playing the credulous few people who are still giving money to them. I would say that you're probably wise to consider all of the details, and if you really wish to give, and if you do, Okay, if you make an informed choice, if it's your personal choice, you have that right. I have no problem with that, and it wouldn't matter even if I did. I'm a genius, thinks he's so smart.